Ready? We're rolling on everything here. Yeah? Okay, and okay, go and join him. Is the audio working? And action. You guys have been waiting for just on two years for the Light Safari to come back to you. And here we are. Brand new respray jigger, brand new crew, brand new adventure, brand new site. And it's all coming back here on Wild Earth Live Safari. Yeah, put your hands behind your back and pull your stomach in. Hi, my name's Rob. I'm team leader for the Live Safari. People can tune in and watch Africa happen as it happens. There's no scripts. We don't know what we're going to come across. And they're going to experience that with us. This is definitely not a, not a studio-based uh, production. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brian. I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm here on location at Thorny Bush as a cameraman. Our camp is kind of in the middle of nowhere, out in the open. It's exciting, a little bit scary. Lions and all other dangerous predators are in the area, but once you're wrapped up in your work, you actually kind of forget about it. Brian is terrified of spiders. For me, I'm really, I'm fine with spiders. Eh? It is just snakes. Snakes are my worst fear. Mock this up as a few. <laughs> As um, you, I'm the presenter. Yeah, you are, but you're not as good looking as she is. So, that's, <laughs> yeah. so then you're going to be, you're going to have that earpiece and be able yep. to listen. Yeah, yes. it's going to come from the radio, but it's, it's in that little black thing. Just check there. Have a look. <laughs> 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 Very little rubber steak. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Aaron Teng. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. For this show, I'll be doing the sound. I've been a city boy all my life. So this is a very, very new experience, a new environment as well. Just like you, the viewer, some of you have never been to Africa or in the bush. And for me, yeah, this is exciting, exciting. Our entire base camp is right in the bush and we launch the live safari every morning from here. And people can tune in and watch Africa happen as it happens. There's no scripts. So when we're going along and we see leopard, we see kudu, we see inyala, we see giraffe. It'll be there live, and not live as in a couple of minutes, live on the spot, a few milliseconds delay. Tokyo, Sydney, London, anywhere you want. You can tune in and there we are, live broadcasting from Africa in a prime spot, which you can't beat that. Our vehicle that we use to go out on the live safaris every day is known as the Jigger. Get in the front, I'll show you. Amazing view. Oh, it's a 3D camera. Oh. <laughs> Standing there. It's actually quite wide, eh? you can see quite far off. So she's sitting here and she says, look at that one, it's got a, a wound from a lion or something. And then you've seen the whole herd and she points in that direction. Put the camera on it, switch over, zoom in, everyone will see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I can see. It's just, it's just instant like that. Got it. We we're about to go live here at Thorny Bush. Uh, it's quite a vast area with a lot of animals and we need a little bit of help to get around. Luckily, we have made friends with one of the top rangers in the Southern Hemisphere. You can actually see in places the claw marks, which you don't normally see in a leopard sprint because the claws are retractable. His name is Craig McFarlane, and he's popped in to give us a few tips. I'm Craig McFarlane. Um, we're in the Thorny Bush Nature Reserve. I, I work for Royal Malawan Lodge. I've been doing this 22 years. It's, a, it's for me. It's it's just it's been a passion of mine as a as a kid growing up in these areas. My father was a guide. Give us some space. He wants to give him Got a young in tow behind. I'm gonna go back so we keep the line to the right side of it. Let it cross in front of us, rather. We're looking at it as what the area has to offer and what South Africa has to offer from a game point of view. It's outstanding. We're in a big five area, so we've got we've got all of the big five, all the big big cats. Hopefully we'll, we'll get some decent viewing of within the season, but it's been good so far. So. The Life Safari crew are going to struggle in the first month as they as they figure their way around and also getting to know the different creatures out here. I think the your your key thing is going to be spending time with some of these animals. But I think as a whole it'll only get better. We're not only doing this because it's our jobs, we love it, but we're bringing it to people who just can't get you. And that, that, it's key, it really is, and that's what really drives this entire thing for me, is that you can just bring it to people who can't get you. It's beautiful. Picky 
Out of frame! Three minutes! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's the end of our shot, great. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Hi.